Doop dop dibbity bop bop and dibbity ba da da da. Hey you! Who, me? Yeah, you. Have you ever heard of something called CRISPR? What's a CRISPR? Well, a CRISPR is a clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeat. Uh. All right, let's backtrack. Back in 1993, a Spanish microbiologist named Francisco Mahiga discovered something very odd in the genetic code of a bacteria. He noticed that, amidst all of the usual genetic code, there was a small section that repeated over and over again. So there you have it. Clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeat, or CRISPR. But perhaps what was most interesting about this peculiar strand of code was that it perfectly matched part of the code of a virus. Now what on earth was that bacteria doing with part of the code of a virus? Weird, right? Well, in 2005, a man named Alexander Bolotin discovered an enzyme now known as the COS9 that seemed to correlate with the CRISPR in some way. Later, in 2007, the function of this enzyme was tested and proven by Philippe Horvath, who at the time was studying none other than, you guessed it, dairy products. What this COS9 enzyme does is it reads the CRISPR, makes a copy of it, and then goes around the cell in search of any matching code. Or in other words, the COS9 goes around the cell in search of the virus that that code was based off of. Should the COS9 encounter this virus, it is programmed to cut the virus up into small, manageable pieces, thereby eliminating the virus before it can so much as infect the cell. Thus, the CRISPR and the COS9 are a defense mechanism used by certain bacteria against viruses. Awesome. But, like, why does anyone care? Oh, I'll tell you why. Suppose that you want to alter a small section of DNA. Recent scientists have figured out how to interchange the genetic code of the COS9 with their own code, thereby programming the enzyme to cut out the desired section of DNA leaving it open for alterations. The CRISPR and the COS9, then, have not only enabled a technology that allows for genetic editing, but one that is fast, easy, and cheap. Wow! I know, right? With this new technology, the possibilities are endless. You know how mosquitoes are infected with malaria? We could use the COS9 to eliminate that. Or we could use it to modify a pig to have human organs that could then be donated. Or we could use it to alleviate the symptoms of neurological disorders. And that, random person, is what the CRISPR is all about. Cool beans. Totally.